hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the super important uh, algorithms which were asked in the previous papers from uh, the subject data mining okay so there are totally of 14 algorithms but all not all the 14 algorithms were asked so few of them were asked that i'll be discussing okay as well as i'll be discussing all of them but uh, more focus will be upon those algorithms which are repeated so the algorithm which you can find here as the bold uh, bold ones those are the uh, super repeated algorithms okay and the page numbers which I have written here that is from the notes which I was referring for the theory as well that you can find in the link uh, there is a uh, in the description box there is a link uh, named as 6m if you go in that you will be finding their uh, folders 18th year 641 there you can find the notes all the 5 module notes are uh, present there means the 5 module notes in one pdf okay that's first thing in that pdf if you go to the page numbers you can find out the uh, algorithm so if you can if you want you can practice from there itself or I will be explaining that in uh, the algorithms I have written in my own words and what I understood from the algorithm you can write that as well okay because algorithms means able, uh, able to explain what is uh, actually happening what is actually happening in the whole algorithm you need to be able to explain in a stepwise manner mentioning all the relevant concepts so I have prepared another pdf this pdf can be found in the super uh, important folder in the same link given in the description box so if you go there will be a, a file called as dmdw algo handwritten.pdf okay so in this all the uh, 14 algorithms i've written so this i'll be explaining now so before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support helps me make more videos like this if you have any doubt uh, ping me on instagram and uh, i'll be replying to you fine so let's uh, get started the first one is the a priori algorithm what does a priori algorithm do is it will fetch the items okay so, so let's uh, make it as a story for each algorithm i'll be telling a story okay so how many stories you listen today 14 stories okay so uh, in a priori algorithm what we will be doing is suppose that you went to market you will be having a lot of uh, items to purchase okay so uh, and a few of the items will be like uh, it will be milk but you will uh, purchase milk from different uh, company brands okay so what you will be doing is uh, you will be classifying it as milk how many times it has repeated how many times butter has repeated how many times noodles has repeated and so on so whichever has repeated more number of times that will only you will purchase like for example whatever has repeated more than three times that item only i'll purchase so after making uh, milk as three times and butter as uh, two times and so on you'll be classifying those things only uh, which is repeated more number of times after you have classified them then what you will do if suppose that noodles and milk was repeated four and five times then again you will combine these both and then again compare with uh, um, noodle with uh, noodle and milk both uh, together uh, how many time has appeared together how many time has appeared that is also uh, that count you will do together how many time that that uh, that has appeared that should also be more than three if it is more than three i'll select that one if three items are appeared i'll select the three and then check okay so uh, let's understand that stepwise manner we will be fetching the items first we'll fetch the items uh, count the uh, frequency of each item how many times each item has appeared whichever item has the frequency less than the minimum frequency i'll specify some frequency like three if the item count is less than three i'll eliminate it else i'll keep that then uh, as i did for the one item individually i'll com uh, combine two items and again check repeat the same until all the items are considered and whichever item remains till the last that's the most frequent item set so here's the algorithm consider the item set i which has i1 i2 i3 and i n items are there and k is equal to one initially you'll select just one item and uh, count the frequency then you will increment k and you'll keep on incrementing and eliminate those items which are less than the minimum uh, support count and you'll increment k again you will repeat the same procedure stop when the groups do not change means how, no matter how many items you take the group remains same then that's the final uh, frequent item set that you will be returning okay so that was about the a priori algorithm if you don't understand what's actually happening i'll be discussing this, this again in the numerical video as well so there with the example you will be able to understand okay so second one is rule generation rule generation but the name itself you can understand a rule generation means there will be some things here based on this you'll be defining some rules you'll be deriving what some rules so what we are doing we are in need, we are in need of finding rules that satisfy two conditions we are finding rules uh, which do what which satisfy two conditions support should be greater than minimum support and confidence should be greater than minimum uh, confidence okay so if these two rules are satisfied for whatever item we are considering uh, that will be taken as one rule okay so we calculate the item set individual support and confidence using some formulas there are some formulas okay uh, formulas to do what count the uh, support and uh, confidence okay for each item set we will do we then decide which have the threshold more that we will be selecting okay so that was the brief overview and for the algorithm you have tried the first key point there is a frequent item set fk and this has f1 f2 f3 and all 
apply the formula and count the support and confidence what you will count support and confidence what's your next step run a for loop for loop for what sub is uh, greater than min sub and conf is uh, greater than min conf whichever item has greater than uh, minimum uh, support and greater than minimum confidence that will be adding to the rule set else you will delete from the rule set finally you will collect the rule set and return that's all next we have the fp growth algorithm fp growth means what you will be growing a tree like this that's all you will be having an item set fetch the item set calculate calculate the frequency of each item how many times that item has appeared in the list if it has appeared three times you will write it as three if it has appeared four times you will write it as what four only right remove the items that is less than the minimum sub if minimum sub is four the three which is there delete it okay build the fp tree by adding all the items as they appear first uh, arrange the items in decreasing order from the highest reputation to the lowest reputation in this order you will sort and then you will keep on adding to the tree like this first you will add here then you will add here if you, these two items are appeared the third item will be added here like that you will keep on adding and each time you add a new item how many times it passes through the same path each path you will increment by one if it passes from here 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 each path will be increment by one so how many times you do that increment will be uh, kept as count and finally what you will do there is a threshold defined that is my uh, uh, minimum threshold right whatever uh, point has more than that uh, threshold more than this value that you will be selecting that's all what is happening in uh, fp growth we uh, keep the count of how many times each uh, gets appeared and increment accordingly and only those items are taken that uh, the threshold crosses the frequent items at the end so algorithm also is uh, like that only there is nothing much uh, difference so the same thing what is explained above you can write in your own words okay next one is uh, decision tree or uh, induction or the hunts algorithm here uh, what you will doing you will be having some um, parameter here and you will be making some subsets of it okay when we will make the subsets what you have to do is it will be uh, getting divided into smaller and smaller parts the more the subsets the specific the uh, particular thing is right this is the most general thing more specific more specific more specific right so that's what we are doing the decision tree means you will be dividing it based on the iterations we have a data set dt and it consists of the records uh, y1 y2 till yn there is a data set and there are records the data sets need to be individually assigned some class these, these are the classes data set need to be assigned some class like for example the, the data sets has uh, different um, persons okay so uh, the classes are good bad or normal person so each of these person will be assigned one class like good person bad person normal person and so on right so that's what the data item sets and class record label if k records are assigned to the same class then it becomes the topic and the sub derivations as the match data set what happens is if k records means 10 persons are good persons that will form a separate class and then we will be again dividing now these are uh, good persons but which country they are from whether they are from india whether they are from uh, uk whether they are from usa whether they are from china that is the second division happening even if they are in the uh, same country again the division happen what is the job of the person like that the divisions are keep on making sub derivations that's all what happens if k records are assigned to the same class the same class gets divided and again purer uh, subsets are being made fine if one record belongs to the multiple classes then the subsets will be made and uh, until the record fits into the one of the classes so we are given with uh, two things training record which is a data set and f is the attribute set which is y check if y e and f belong to the same class if it belongs to the same class means that is the same uh, subtopic k record belong to the same subtopic what you will do you will create a new leaf label it and return leaf means you will create a new node uh, label it and return it fine if the stopping condition is true then you will create a leaf label it and return leaf means this is the algorithm what you have to write okay that is the explanation this is the key point what you have to write else if it is not the uh, same you will make the splits and will find what uh, find what best split that will be a root and for each best split you found you will call the tree growth for each best split you found what you will do you will call the tree growth which is the same algorithm after you have split you will call the tree growth and the leaf will be returned which will be added to the descendants okay then we have the next one which is direct method for rule extraction here some data is given you want to derive some rules how directly you will do so here what we will be doing there are rules given to us and some data which is in one column uh, unknown okay so what happens here some data is there and here some uh, parameters asked and one value is unknown based on this you have to analyze this one and answer this one basically that's all what you have to do by using the rules we need to find the answer and if the thing passes the requirements it forms another rule if the new thing what is given to us if it passes the tests or the requirements of the formula it forms a new rule this is new rule new rule new rule so two things we are doing we are finding out the unknown value and finding out new rules also then whatever the new rules we found set uh, return the set of new rules found 
we are given three things e is the training record a is the attribute set y is the set of class tables y1 y2 till yn r is the empty set of initial rules initially it will be empty we will be keep on adding it fine for each y in each of this what we will do learn one rule for each class label we will uh, learn one rule and if that rule already exists in the record remove it if that rule already exists in the record remove it and then add the new rule if it is a new rule add it and then after you have done for all the labels at the end uh, add this one yk add what yk at the end of the rule this that's all what is there in the um, rule generation rule extraction algorithm okay then we have nearest neighbor classifier by the name itself you can understand nearest neighbor which are there they, they will form a group nearest neighbor which are there they will form a group far uh, which is there that will form different groups fine what we are doing we have been given the data set dx we calculate the distances between each of them and classify them as clusters find out the distance cal uh, calculate them as different or same cluster each point will be closest to which all parts that will form one cluster okay after the cluster is made select few classes and make them as the major cluster and assign the other points to the major cluster suppose that this one cluster 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 formed okay here some things are there here some things are there here some things are there and here some points are uh, outside also what we will do we will select one major cluster assign the nearest point to each of these another major cluster each point which is near each point which is near that's all what we are doing in the nearest neighbor classifier so the algorithm is also same here we can use the um, euclidean distance or the x minus y uh, formula fine then we have the next one which is bayesian classifier bayesian means it uses the probabilities conditional and uh, prior probability okay so here we are given with a table which denotes the total order variables this one you have to buy hat as it is because it's very complex to actually understand but i will tell you how to uh, keep in mind first consider a table okay there is a table given to us which has what total order variables tov there is tov present here tov present here whether it makes sense or not listen to me tov 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 is present here then we are iterating throughout and selecting the highest order variable which is the highest tov that you will select okay then what you will do make a subset of the variables that are less than the highest order so once you have selected the highest tov whatever is less than that make a row means uh, select all those which are less than that after you selected highest make a subset of what is less than that then remove from this what is not affecting this one remove from this what is not affecting this one okay after you have done that you will be ending this fine that's how the algorithm is first you have tried their table set t which denotes the uh, different uh, data items present here loop through all the items select the highest order variable form the uh, row which is less than that remove which does not affect the main variable after that make uh, an arc from uh, the main variable to the removed variable arc means like this you have to make okay like this this is the main variable this removed just make an arc that's all the next one is k means algorithm very very important from example point of view k means what we'll do we'll have many data sets here two points each data set will be assigned to this point which is closest to it and again we'll form the uh, means find out mean value find out new k value again assign all the points to whichever it belongs to until it does not change okay so what we are given with is end uh, data item sets and k points end data sets are divided and assigned to k points end data set is this one it will get divided it will be assigned to k points okay after that what will happen mean is calculated for each splitted group and it becomes the new mean what you will do you will calculate the mean value for each point assigned here and then you will be again calculating the new mean value you will repeat the steps until there is no change in the mean value obtained so start from here there is a data set d given to us d1 d2 till dn select k points and uh, find the distance between the two nearest points and then assign the point to the groups the k groups after that find the new mean values once you have find out the new mean value if the new mean is old to, uh, equal to the new uh, old mean value then you will return the groups which are formed those are the uh, classified groups or the clusters next we have the agglomerative or hierarchical clustering in this what we will do we will merge okay first we will uh, make this one and then we will be uh, forming points here different points will be present we will make a circle include those points in different tires first tire second tire third tire and so on so we have the cluster points we are using those points to form clusters which are closest to each other so whatever is close will form a cluster the new points are um, the bubble expands and captures that point that uh, becomes the next tire so if new points are present that will capture the new points and become the next tire like that we will keep on doing until there is just one uh, cluster remaining fine the algorithm is also same compute the proximity matrix which is closest to each other merge the closest cluster and repeat find out the distance merge it again find out the distance merge it find out the distance merge it and so on until all the points are covered in a single cluster 
okay and when the one cluster is remaining next one is the db scan db scan means density based scan the algorithm is very simple get the data points and classify them as core noise or border points this i have explained theory what do this means so you can go through that then we have the classification done based on the eps or the uh, radius value okay so there is a radius value based on that you will classify it as uh, the core point noise point or border point you will remove the uh, noise points you will assign the core points as the major cluster and the border points as nearest to the closest cluster that's all fetch the points calculate the eps value separate them into different clusters based on the distance value assign border point to the closest cluster point discard the noise points then we have the click algorithm okay so these after this what our algorithm i discussed those are not repeated ones but you can listen uh, if uh, like if you have time okay so uh, what we are uh, doing here is fetching all the points and finding the uh, classification value okay so after we have find out the uh, classification value or the uh, means classification basically we are using the grid based algorithm here the density value is considered so we will fetch all points and find the density value then form grids and discard those values that do not belong to the threshold of having less than e points see there are many chocolates here you randomly distribute your chocolates you form some groups now you will discard those groups which are less than 10 chocolates more than 10 okay less than 10 discard more than 10 okay like that you will do for the uh, data sets also and merge with the nearest neighbor and uh, same for the other dimensional attributes once you form the groups merge to the closest ones and form one group okay then is the den clue in den clue also we'll do the same thing here we'll form the density chart in 1d space there will be a density chart in 1d space and then we'll separately calculate the maxima so what happens is we will form a chart here the density is present we will divide into different subspaces and then we will follow uh, find the local maxima local maxima means what is the highest density like that we will keep on finding and then the points which are near to it will be attracted to it and that will be forming one group these points will be attracted to it will will it will form one group like that all the attracted points will form one group and then we will do the final test what is the final test each of this value should be greater than 1000 or whatever threshold value i assign whichever is greater than 1000 will be selected rest will be discarded okay that's all what is there here algorithm is also same next is the birch algorithm in birch algorithm we will be using for large scale databases here we create a cf tree this i have explained here you can go through it cf tree will be created and a sub cf tree will be also created using what hierarchical uh, and agglomerative techniques then redistributed again again repeat that uh, same thing until um, no new clusters are formed the last one is a cure algorithm here we have the random sample from the data set we'll select a random sample like this then we'll position uh, partition into uh, p equal uh, size partitions after that the clusters will be formed m by p q that's the formula for clustering m by p q cluster will be formed and uh, using the cure hierarchical algorithm will be uh, performing m by q clusters found in the previous step until only k uh, cluster remain there is a data set here random data, uh, data set that is divided into equal parts each of this is uh, divided into p, uh, p m by p q clusters after that in each of this m by p q cluster we will be forming m by q clusters and that should be less than uh, k if it is more than k delete it if it is less than k it's okay okay then we will be uh, eliminating the outlier assign the point to the nearest cluster after i eliminate the point assign the point to the nearest cluster so basically this is what uh, the points you have to keep in mind if you want to know the original algorithm you can refer the previous pdf there i have mentioned the page number as well so if you like this video the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support helps make more videos like this okay thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one